I've had a problem on YouTube. Ever since my channel started getting more traction and my videos would go over the 500 view mark on a consistent basis where like every month I would have at least one or two videos that made it above that, I've noticed that I've had a lot of people who come onto my channel and they just sort of make assumptions about what the channel is about or what I'm about or who I am and they they make a lot of really just dumb or insensitive statements about the content um, or it feels like they're not really part of the community or like one of the reasons I enjoy being obscure is I get so many long-winded comments that I can respond to or that I can read and then you look at you know the comment section on a video and a lot of the time especially if someone relates to it it'll be people spilling out entire life stories uh, it'll be people spilling out entire opinions uh, inspired from the discussion that was in my video I, I love that I love that I can interact with all of you potentially through you know, a website like Discord. My Discord's public. I don't have a server, but you can talk to me. I like the fact that you can message me on Mal, or that you can just leave a comment and you'll know that I've read it, or uh, you'll see my response to it. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy the feeling that, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm not Star, the uh, YouTube personality who people have opinions about. I'm just a guy online, and I like to make videos from time to time. That's really it. It's there's some of my videos I really like, but at the end of the day, that's what they are. They're just YouTube videos. Most of my videos I think are just okay. Now, I have like one or two that I'm really proud of, but I'm just a person online. I've said this over and over and over again throughout my entire time on YouTube. Go back, you'll see it again and again. Um, and so, I, I don't like this feeling that I get when I see all these people, you know, coming in and commenting stuff that it feels like, you know, they... It, and I'm not saying that people should watch all of, like, the Essentials playlist or, what do I call it, important stuff here. That's what I call the playlist. I'm not saying people should watch every video in that playlist. I'm, I'm not saying people should comb through hundreds of videos of me talking just to understand what I'm saying. But, I get so many of these people who come onto my videos and they'll say things that, like, I've talked about in so many videos that you think they it would just be a basic aspect of my content, you know? And so that's when I start to get the sense that, you know, the star persona is more of a persona than it is just me. I don't I don't like that. I, I don't like the idea of being a guy online who people have opinions about, who people wanna discuss or who people leave a comment thinking that I'm not going to see it, because I always see it, you know? Like, I, I don't like being someone who people gossip over. First of all, I'm not nearly interesting enough for people to gossip. That's just weird. That is literally just weird. I don't know any other way to put it. Um, and I, I don't like being someone who people have polarizing opinions about. Um, that isn't to say that I dislike getting criticism or people having strong opinions about me. That's all fine. If there's someone who has a strong opinion, there's always going to be someone who has an equal, equally positive one. But what I really dislike is the sense that I am a personality. That, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I've never set out to be a YouTuber. Uh, well, that's not true. In 2016, I set out to be a YouTuber. But... Beyond that point, I haven't set out to be a YouTuber. I have set out to be myself. And you can 
listen to these rants and have your own things to say about them and attribute to them what you will, share your own thoughts and feelings and stories, and I love reading them. Um, or you can talk to me personally and see that I'm just a guy. But the people who take me in such an extreme direction to say that, you know, Star is like the best person or Star is the worst person, that that, that makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, I, I feel really complimented by the people who enjoy the things that I do on here, but ultimately, like, they're just videos, you know, I, I'm glad I can have an impact on people but I don't want to be this YouTube figure. I don't want to be a YouTuber. Because what comes with that is a certain level of alienation from the audience member and the creator. Where, you know, the creator is up here, where, you know, the audience member uh, sees the creator as this personality on YouTube who people have opinions about and people discuss and, you know who you know, they look at their videos as disconnected from a human being and then on the other hand you have the youtuber who looks at the comments or the discussion on discord or wherever of themselves as being disconnected from themselves that you know these are the the lowly dribble you know down here down here while i the youtuber with all this power and all my subscribers can look down on you and say i am above the fray and you know, this, this petty talk is, you know, it feels weird. I don't like it. I just don't like it. And I think there are people who handle it better than me, who are pretty good about this. This is really just a personal issue with myself. Like, anyone else, the disconnect that I'm describing between content creator and content, and viewer and content creator, this disconnect is totally fine by me. I experience it as a viewer all the time and I could care less. I I see it being expressed in creators all the time and I could care less. It's only in myself because it makes me uncomfortable to see people referring to me like I'm a YouTuber, like I'm this media entertainment figure when I'm just star. I'm just myself. I'm just a human being. That's it. That's all I wanted to be. That's all I've aspired to be. That's why these videos are made the way that they are. I make these videos the way that I do, not because I want to be flashy or be an entertainer or get lots of subscribers. It's the opposite. I enjoy alienating the masses so I can do whatever I want. I enjoy having a small, consistent community, you know, you know, throwing myself out there being like, hey guys, come look at this, and then bringing in a small few back. You know, there are certain videos I've had to make that have gotten more views in order to gain traction in other regards and, you know, get new friends, get new people on board, but I don't like having so many videos that get traction that you start getting all these normies in here who don't really know what this is about. Well, this has never been about getting lots of subscribers or being discussed or getting attention. Uh, this has been about, in the beginning, like if you want to go back really far, far into the beginning, it, it was about making friends, is that I didn't know how to make friends, so I, I wanted to make videos in order to make friends, but and nowadays it's more about sharing and experience. Like, I enjoy making things. And I make them like this, in, in 4x3 aspect ratio, a 480p video of me just rambling to myself with sometimes very weird edits in order to make, an, make a statement. It isn't just because this is the content I enjoy watching and I enjoy making, those two things are very much factors, but it's also because I, and I don't know how many times I had to say this, I, I don't want the dormies here. I, I don't want people to come on and think, YouTube personality star said this, therefore I must have an opinion even if I don't have the full context or even if I don't really know what this guy is about because YouTuber star said it, therefore, no, 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 it's just star. 
That's it. That's it. I said it. You can take it or leave it. I'm a human being. You are a human being as well. And I would like to treat you with the respect and um, conscience that you would treat me with, ideally. Um, and I don't know how many times I have to say unsubscribe. Like, Red is a friend of mine, and um, I, I enjoy talking to him a lot, but I really dislike his fans. Like, I've been trying so hard to get his fans to unsubscribe. Um, some of them are, are pretty cool. I, I've talked to some Red fans who are nice people, and not all of them are bad, but so many people from his videos have come onto my videos to tell me just join the army bro or you know look at poverty around the world and that must be such a terrible thing not even knowing the fact that I grew up in immense poverty um, and was so hungry that you know I would I would fall over I would collapse from the lack of energy because I never ate anything when I was a kid uh, I probably have developed I probably developed wrong because of how little I ate uh, when I was younger, so, you know, to tell me, oh, look at poverty, bro, uh, there was mold all through my house, my house was breaking apart, um, the only reason we had a place to live was because it was given to us by my grandpa, but the place was falling apart, it was an absolute nightmare living there, uh, because of how many problems it had structurally due to poverty and having to deal with food insecurity, but I get these people all the time, oh, why are you depressed when other people are impoverished? It's like, I'm impoverished right now, it's not as bad as it once was, definitely not, but I have been impoverished historically for very long periods of time, you know, like, it's just insane to me that these people have the goal to come onto my videos and say these things. But the thing is, is that they come into my videos with the mindset that they would come into a Red video with. Or they look at Red, and this is with all due respect to him, like, I'm just talking from their perspective, not mine. Um, you know, they look at, like, Red, and they go, oh, it's this middle class, you know, Korean guy, why is he so sad? You know, he has everything set up for him, why is he sad? And of course, that's bullshit. Um, because, you know, everyone has the right to feel bad, you know, suffering is relative, it's not, it's not something you can control, uh, mental illness is not something you can control, and very often, the people who are experiencing these problems, the context surrounding them and why they happen, are much more deeper and complex than you think at first glance, um, but they look at someone like him, and, uh, they go to my channel expecting me to be the exact same way. Um, and I don't mean this as like a diss on him because I, I respect where he's coming from, but I'm just saying that, you know, the people who watch his videos to like hate watch them and be like, oh, look at how cringy this mentally ill guy is, you know, look at how cringy this Hoppa is, which I, I don't think Red is cringy, but they do. That's the thing is like... They, they watch his videos in order to feel better about themselves. You know, because they hate themselves so much that the only way they can ever feel good is, is just by mocking other people and bringing other people down. That's what cringe culture is. It's, it's a bunch of people who don't feel good enough about themselves and so they have to look at people who they view as inferior to them or in some cases are jealous of. Uh, and then they mock them and try to say, oh, look at this guy, he fucking sucks, dude, he's so cringe, dude. That, that's what it is. Um, it's, there's, there's a, a certain shutting off of empathy you have to do there, not understanding other people. It's like they don't want to, because then they can have more fun by being more cruel that way. Um, and that's what a lot of people who watch his videos are like because they come from hiding in my rooms fandom where the entirety of his fandom is basically just look at this guy um, you know how can we collectively make him suffer as a group how can we mess up his life in some way 
um, you know, when is his life going to get messed up next so we can all laugh about it and say how much better we are than him. Um, that's, that's what the hiding in my room community is. It's very sociopathic, very toxic. A lot of those people aren't very smart either, and I'm not saying this is someone who's all high and mighty over here, but like, you listen to some of these people talk, like a lot of the people who watch his videos, they're, you know, they've got some problems going on, um, and that's why they watch him, it, it's in order to feel better about, you know, where they're coming from. I'm not saying there's anything inherently wrong with, you know, watching someone like Daniel Lord, uh, and just liking the idea, you know, the concept of this is a weird guy, I want to pay attention to it, even though I think a lot of his videos are fake, um, there's nothing wrong with that. But the cringe culture surrounding his videos, you know, the I, I want to cringe, I want to see someone suffer, that's very much a reality. And so a lot of those people go onto Red's videos and then, you know, they come onto my videos and I don't want those people here. I just don't. Like, it, this isn't, I'm not meant to be a personality. I'm not a personality. Like, Red, Red's chosen to be a personality and that's what he does. That, that's okay. That's his goal. That's his prerogative. He wants, you know, more subscribers and to potentially do this as a career. I do not. I actively do not. That's why I've made three different videos in the last, like, two years telling people to unsubscribe. And I've made the entire model of how my content is made in order to more or less keep people away. I make things intentionally obscure. I make things intentionally niche. Why do you think so many of my videos are literally references to to other things? Like, No Thank You would make this video loud noises from above, and then I would make this video silent noises from below, with like, no... In the, in the video itself, there's no reference to the video, it's just the title it was made as a slight variation of his title because I think it's funny and he thinks it's funny and then the two other people who get the joke thinks it's funny but that's that's all it's for is that it's meant to be fun it's like it's just a little gag it that's what my videos are meant to be like even the higher effort ones that I really enjoyed making that have maybe a bigger artistic statement behind them like the written videos even those are not really meant to be seen by that many people. They're just sort of meant to exist and affect who it is that they affect. Um, I don't, I don't like the idea of having, you know, a large audience, of being a personality. I like the idea of just having people who connect with the things that I do, and then me being able to connect with them. I like the the obscurity of having a comfy community of people who I can talk to and interact with. Um, and who enjoy my work. Um, and I, I don't know why YouTube can't just be fun. Why does it have to be such a game of gossip, of personalities, of, you know, cringe culture, who can be the worst, who can be the best? Why can't it just be something where we have an idea and then we make it? Why do we need these pretty thumbnails? Why do we need these titles that catch viewers' attention the moment that they're seen? Why do we need all this SEO optimi optimization and tags and HD video and, and, and beautiful audio quality? And Why do we need those things? Why can't we just exist? Why can't our videos just be made with the sole intent of being fun. That's what I don't get. And I try to understand the mindset from the perspective of someone who used to think that way of wanting to be a YouTuber, but the reason I wanted to be a YouTuber is because I had literally nothing else that I could do. I was dirt poor, uh, I, I wasn't eating very much at all, I was on satellite internet, um, and so my data would be capped at 10 gigabytes each month, and so 
I would end up having to deal with the fact that my internet would be slow as fuck through most of the month because they would start bottlenecking me, um, and I'd have to watch videos in like 144p and stuff, and uh, upload videos that like for like like a hundred megabyte video would go for on for like four hours, <laughs> and other people couldn't use the internet while I was uploading. Um, you know, I lived in the fucking forest. Uh, you know, my weight kept going down. I, I had been, uh, I had dropped out of school at this point, kind of, I never, I didn't fully drop out until I was 15, but, uh, throughout 8th grade, I did not go to school for any of that year, didn't do any work, and knew that I didn't want to return to school, uh, this was a thing that I've known about myself since the very beginning, that I just didn't like doing school, um, and so I had this sense that I was not going to graduate. I was not going to succeed in an academic setting. I had no skills. My mental health was, you know, falling at the seams. It was being decimated by uh, severe social anxiety, which I no longer have. Uh, but it was, it was quite horrendous just how bad the social anxiety was at that time to where I couldn't interact with anyone. I was sad all the time. I was hallucinating and didn't know why these problems were occurring, I didn't really know what they were, I thought I was, I didn't think I was the only one experiencing them, but it felt like that, and I, I thought I was going to, you know, be homeless, that there was, there was going to be no hope for me whatsoever in the future, and that the one thing, the one thing that I was at least kind of interested in was YouTube, and so, I wanted to make a career out of that, out of necessity, not because it was just the thing to do where, you know, everyone wants a, attention. And I, I look at these middle class kids, right, who grow up, they have a decent education, um, they have options in their lives, and almost all of them, you look at poll after poll, like 10% of them want to be astronauts, and then like 80% of them want to be YouTubers. They do these polls all over the, all over the world. And time and time again, the majority of kids want to grow up to be YouTubers. Um, why? Why would you want to compromise your own creative vision and your own ability to have fun in order to make more money? And I get that these people watch other people who, who do that, like uh, Mr. Beast, etc., who just make videos that are profitable, PewDiePie and so on, and they're entertained by that because they're kids and they want to grow up to do the same thing. But I look at it, and I've always looked at this stuff to some extent, and maybe, maybe it's just because I'm weird and I have niche interests, but I've always looked at that and I've thought that's soulless, that, that, that I don't have any interest in that. It's not for me. The people who I've connected with on YouTube the most, from the beginning, were the people who just did what they wanted to do. Who had a creative vision of some kind, at the very least, if they were going to compromise, at the very least they had a creative vision. You know, like AVGN was one of the first YouTubers that I really got into. You could tell that at least for the first, like, two or three seasons, he was just doing whatever he wanted. He was just having fun with the videos, and it's great. And they were higher production value and all that, but he was a guy who loved making films. That was his thing. Um, you know, Classic Game Room was one of the other YouTubers who I first got into. And I mean, with Mark, there was a little bit more of a produced angle of it, but you could tell that guy loved his job. He didn't, you know, he didn't really want to do anything else. He just loved doing what he was doing, which was talking about video games. It didn't really feel like a creative vision was being hampered by any means. Um, this is what I mean. And uh, I find it very concerning that, you know, so many people who I think could make better videos are stifling their own creativity in order to make videos about subjects that are either irrelevant to them or talking about things in a way that compromises on something that could be a really good video if they just were completely genuine and did whatever the hell they wanted. That's, that's my creative philosophy. 
is that it should always be about the fun. And that's my philosophy on life, is that it should always be about the fun. Because, as I've said so many times, I am forced on this planet, and if I'm going to be forced here, then I'm going to make it enjoyable. Um, and pretty much all of my thoughts on the world kind of stem from that basis, the idea that you know, I was put here without my consent, and because of that, I'm going to take everything I can in this life in order to make it as enjoyable as I can, and, um, you know, try and be as fulfilled as I can. And to me, that means being neat, making stuff that's writing videos, playing video games, uh, you know, reading, using psychoactive substances, uh, allegedly, pursuing my interests. This is what I'm talking about. And, um, I, I don't think other people who have that, you know, who, who just sort of exist through life without really thinking very much about these questions, um, come at things from that perspective. They just sort of wake up every day and feel alright. Well, they're not really concerned about maximizing the fun in their life because their baseline existence is already good enough. And so they think, oh, being a career YouTuber won't be so bad, it's like a 9 to 5, but I get more attention and people love me. Maybe for some people that's good, but for me, it just makes me depressed. Now, there's a reason I don't have a job. It's because it's depressing. You want to make YouTube a job? You make one of the only things you like depressing? What the hell? Um, it's not even a disciplinary thing. It's a matter of making things you enjoy or don't enjoy. Um, which, the very act of trying to be mainstream would require me to make things I didn't enjoy. And I think this was a long rant. I may end up titling this Unsubscribe 4, uh, Get Off My Lawn Edition or something, but I really needed to get this out. Um, because I'm tired. <laughs> this is why I left the human community, guys. Come on. I'm tired of this. Get get the act together. <laughs>